A creator's guide to instigating something that matters is a great subtitle to a book. The book is called The Compost and it's by a guy called Srini Rao, who's the host of the podcast, The Unmistakable Creative, a podcast I've been watching for years now. He's got over 500 episodes, I think. And Srini in his book is a very short read. It's, a, it's an e-book only, and it, the best thing about it, it's free. And I'll put the links um, into the page here so you can kind of pick that up. And I love his approach to his work. He's drawn upon a lot of the work of other people and, and you know, very, very uh, uh, transparently declares that as well. So it's really about being an instigator and creating something that matters. And you'll see some great artwork in the book for it. It's a beautiful book to read. It took me about an hour to read. It's quite a short read. And the compass is a nice metaphor as well that Serena uses because the compass can kind of guide you. You know, sometimes we talk about a map and that's fine. The map will really, only really map out the current landscape and perhaps only take you to a place where I want to go or where Serena wants to go. Okay. The compass, of course, is quite sensitive to movement. And again, it speaks nicely to my work around authenticity and finding your flow and energy because it's pointing in that direction. You know, where is your compass taking you today? You know, creating some work that matters is, is what the book's all about. So where is that compass pointing for you? I'm not going to go into the content of the book itself because you can pick it up for free and, and, you know, and look through it at your leisure pretty swiftly and pretty quickly. And of course, listen to the podcast, The Unmistakable Creative is a great resource. And it's a really nice just way of thinking about whether you even don't take on you know, the offer of reading the book or the podcast, is think about that compass. Where is it pointing? You know, it might be two degrees off from where it was yesterday. And that can be a subtle difference because of course, if we go off on a true north bearing, okay, after a year, we'll be a long way down the line, which is great. But what if we needed to walk about five degrees to the right or left, east or west, okay? In a year's time, you're much further away, aren't you? Okay? So check out the compass and hope that metaphor is helpful also.